Hello, I'm Representative Kevin McDougall with House District 12. And this week, I wanted to talk uh, about what's happened actually last week and this week. Uh, Sarah Phipps, a page that was supposed to come out of district, was sick with the flu. Sarah, I hope you get to feeling better. God bless you. We'll see you here in a few weeks. Glad that we were able to reschedule. We had Rose Day last week. That's a pro-life movement, which I stand strong on pro-life. Uh, we, they were here in the Capitol. Uh, glad that they were all here. Some emotional stories, great things happening with them. Had a visitor, Tim Smith, representing the American Legion for the state of Oklahoma, came by to visit with me. Uh, glad that he came in. We had a ton of visitors, homeschool families, uh, a lot of folks coming by, stopping in, saying hi. One of the biggest things that happened this last week uh, was, of course, the step up plan. Overwhelmingly, emails, phone calls, everything I got from district, over 65% supported the step up plan. I cast my vote, debated from the House floor. Here's one thing that people need to understand. We do have waste, fraud, abuse in the state government. We do have it. And it's siphoned off cash because of it. No legislators prior to us have put measures in place that will go after audits, that will look at expenses, that will look at bank accounts, anything like that that can get it stopped. So we have a cash flow problem. That's what I debated on the floor. We do need cash in. I voted for the step up plan. I also believe that we need to go after waste, fraud, and abuse. So there are a number of bills this year that I've authored. I've authored House Bill 1058, which is a resolution rather, uh, that mandates that the board's authorities, trust, and commissions have to provide bank balances, salaries, expenses, whenever they go to uh, do their new budget. So far, what we do is say, oh, you need $150 million and no explanation for it. So we're going to get tight on that. I also have a consolidation of services bill, which a number of our agencies have duplicated services. Just counting cigarettes in our stores, there are four different agencies that go in and count cigarettes. We don't need four, we need one count and provide it to the other three agencies. So a consolidation of services bill. I also have a no tax, no benefit bill. House Bill 3662, if you don't pay taxes or have not paid in taxes, don't pay even sales taxes. You don't get the benefit of the taxes that the state provides. Take a look at that bill as well. Today in General Government Oversight Committee, we passed a bill that would actually lower the governor and heads of state salaries. It came out of committee, that'll go to the House floor. It's been a busy, crazy couple of weeks. I've had people that have uh, liked what we do. I've had people that hated what we do. I'm just letting you know what we've done. And if you have any questions, please go to the website. Look forward to talking to you again next week. Kevin McDougall, District 12.